How is it going everybody? Mike Monty here and today I'm showing you guys gameplay of both Mortal Kombat 1 from 1992 as well as Mortal Kombat 1 from 2023. Now the 31 year anniversary of Mortal Kombat is coming in three days from when I'm recording this. So uh, the 8th, October 8th. So you know happy early 31 years to Mortal Kombat and many hopefully many more to come. Now, you're probably wondering, looking at this, hey, this does not look like Mortal Kombat 1, the original, like, Reptiles on here, you can play as Shang Tsung, Ermac, and Goro. What is this? Well, this is a Mugen remake, but it's very close and accurate to uh, the first version of the game that, you know, I'm completely fine with this. Anyways, what I'm going to be doing is playing as Reptile, because, you know, he's a hidden character, and I, I think it'd be cool to play as him. And, yeah. Anyways, if you guys enjoy this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Let me know what kind of videos you want to see in the future, Mortal Kombat wise, or just in general. And uh, yeah, let's let's jump right into this fight. So, Reptile was a custom character, or not a custom, excuse me, a hidden character in this game. This was his first ever Mortal Kombat appearance. You could somehow verse him at the bottom of the pit, and. It was very cool at the time. People finally unlocking him. They were shocked. Like, oh my god, that is a reptile? What? But you weren't able to actually play as him. Now, this version, this Mugen game, actually allows me to do that. And the cool thing about Reptile is that he was just like an amalgamation of Scorpion and Sub-Zero. So I just get both of their moves. That's it. And that's, that's especially cool because... The creator of this Mugen actually stayed true to that. They didn't give him like specific reptile moves. Like he's Scorpion and Sub-Zero. Like I'll show you. And also I could have turned on combos in this game. I chose not to just to be more faithful to the original Mortal Kombat 1. But this does play a lot faster than it. There we go. But, I don't know, I just love Mortal Kombat. And it's crazy to see how far uh, the game has actually come, like, character development-wise. It is funny, though, uh, Reptile, he stayed as, or he started out as a human, and now he is sort of a human again? Now he's, uh, just a mix? There we go. Oh my god, ripped his head off. But... Now he's a mix between, he's like a shapeshifter, he could morph into a human, but he's a lizard. But, it's funny, all the characters going back to their original roots, sort of. But, in, as, as like a new take in the new game. So now, I'm gonna play as Reptile for this, for this portion, but for more Kombat 1, I'm definitely gonna play as Scorpion, just because I could have the best gameplay for him, just because I know him well. So, I'll make sure to play as him. Ooh. But yeah, this original roster for Mortal Kombat, oh. Very nostalgic. The original Mortal Kombat theme song, like, wow. There we go. Okay, so that's that's not from Mortal Kombat 1. Usually it's, it's Scorpion's uh, skeleton head. But, you know, mutant, mutant creators have the liberty to do whatever they want. But this is so accurate to how the game used to be. But man, I, I wonder... I wonder when I compare the maps eventually... For the games between Mortal Kombat 1 and Mortal Kombat 1, I want to see which maps are actually similar. I don't think any. I think the courtyard, the Outworld courtyard, or I think they're the gardens actually, instead of the courtyard. But it's, it's like so much, it's so different from this game. And sorry if I'm like, you know, blabbering on a little, being like kind of incoherent and just like jumping all over the place with uh with my words i just got out of class took my first exam today 
feel confident. First exam of the semester, at least. I've, I've taken exams before for uh, college. But yeah, it was a lot. I'll just rip off his head. But I was taking a Java exam. Did pretty good. I think I aced it. I mean, I, I don't know yet, but I'm hoping I aced it. This is probably moveset wise. This is probably my favorite version of what? Oh, that's a Sub Zero Mythologies move. This is definitely my one of my favorite moveset versions of Reptile, just because I love Scorpion, and having Scorpion and Sub Zero like this dude's the perfect combo. I mean, it makes sense because like yellow and blue make green, so that's kind of what they just went with. And also, you know the. The storage space on like the old arcade ships was very limited on what they could do. So they had to reuse what they could. Alright, let's do with this Liu Kang. And then this tower is gonna be slightly different from uh actual Mortal Kombat 1 too, because it has all the hidden characters, like for instance Ermac is Air Macro. That one was only ever a rumor made from like a glitch with uh, the arcade machine. There was never Ermac or Error Macro in this game. But in the other more, I'm gonna make a more in-depth comparison video between the two games, and I'm gonna use the actual Mortal Kombat one. I'm gonna use one of the uh, one of the one of the home console ports though. All right, so see, this is where you would always face Reptile. It'd be at the bottom of the pit. But you could never actually play as him. So what I'm doing right now is just very, it's very different. It's very unique. It's hard to, is that guy playing basketball in the back? Does he have a basketball in his hand? <clears throat> what just happened? This reptile is cooking me. I'm gonna have to do something different. There we go. There we go. Watch that. Bang. I don't think uh I don't think that was actually able to happen in the old game. I don't think you could do the stage fatality while you're still down there. But see, Ermac was never was never Mortal Kombat one. He also just got dogged. But man, I I I never actually played Mortal Kombat one like when it first came out because you know I wasn't alive. <laughs> but my first Mortal Kombat that I played, I I spoke about this in some other videos. Wow, what he just did combo on me. But the first Mortal Kombat I ever played was a uh, trilogy on the PS1, and that was very fun. Loved that game. Then I played Mortal Kombat 4, then Armageddon, then Deadly Alliance. I played all of them like out of order. Remember Armageddon was on Armageddon was on the PS2. Deadly Alliance was on GameCube though. I used to play it on my Wii. I think Deception I had both on Wii, or GameCube, and PS2. And, uh, yeah, Mortal Kombat was the first game, video game I ever played, along with Mario, and, uh, it kinda just stuck with me. And this Goro boss plays nothing like the actual one. And you could just finish, you could just finish him doing this. I'm gonna try to, okay. Okay. There we go. Let's please not lose to Goro if I don't have to. There we go. 
he doesn't he doesn't do that by the way he doesn't do that in the game all right now it's Shang Tsung time this Shang Tsung is pretty cool but he's not hard to beat at all <laughs> wow that's uh that's that's silly Shang Tsung should be done in a few hits. You're done. And bang. Oh. What? He also doesn't do... Actually, I think he does do that in the first game, but that's... That's awesome. Alright. We have beat More Combat 1 from 1992. Now, uh, let, let's go only, you know, just a solid 31 years in the future. I'll see you guys in Mortal Kombat 1. Okay, guys, this looks, uh... This looks a lot better. Alright, now I'm going to be playing on the hardest tower. Not endless, but like the highest one you can go. So it's 10 people. And, uh... Scorpion. Like I said, I'm going to be playing as Zarina. Scorpion. And let's just... Let's just see how big of a difference it is from... From Mortal Kombat 1. So, for instance, combos are a thing now. And here, this is like a classic Mortal Kombat 1 match, minus uh, the cameos. Scorpion and Sub-Zero. Sorry, I, I, I just blanked on how to do combos. Here we go. Let's do an actual good one. There we go. I could've got 40%. Could've got 40% on that. Look at the potential you could do with these combos. Ah, oh, so hard to do that combo. Look how dope Scorpion looks though. God, this is still my favorite skin ever. I don't know if I'll ever change this. Like, he's just so cool. Man, I also just wanted to say, and I say this in literally every single video I post, but seriously, thank you guys so much for all the recent support. I literally sound like a broken record saying it in like every single video. But, I only say it because it's so genuine. And just like... Just seeing like people support me... It literally like makes my whole year. So, thank you guys so much. Like, genuinely. There we go. But, you know, it's funny how this series has, like, really lasted the test of time. And I really, like, one, one Midway shutdown, like, I didn't know the future of Mortal Kombat. Like, I legitimately didn't know. Oh my god, 41% damage? Alright, uh, demonetization. Boom! <laughs> I should learn how to do other brutalities. But I gotta I gotta tag that part. That was a 44% combo. What did I even do? I forgot what I did, but how did I get maybe did, are critical hits a thing? I don't know. But that was that was really cool. Well, let's see. Let's see if I can replicate that.
Okay, Tanya. Wow. So without meter, Scorpion could get like a consistent 30% combo. It's 36 right there. And, I mean, this game is, like, far from being perfect, but, like, everyone has to admit, this game is pretty fun. The online, certain times, is not as fun, like, when I have to verse Baraka, like, I, I kind of just want to, like, slam my laptop shut. But other than that, like, I really like this game. Eh, I won't demonetize. It's fine. It's like, no, I'm kidding, but, man, I don't know, I really, I really love the Mortal Kombat series, and yeah, the game's far from perfect, yeah, it needs a lot of things fixed, a lot of characters adjusted, but overall, it's a really fun game, and I love it. I've even found myself enjoying Invasions, after I already completed it, there's like, uh, special places to go after, <clears throat> After you defeat Scorpion, you get, like, the Nether Stone that you could use to unlock stuff. And that's, uh, that part's cool. Okay. Man, I'm really just tearing through these guys. I only get that combo to work once once I already depleted their health, because that could lead to like 40% damage right there. Oh my god. Also, Havoc's a pretty cool character. And I heard... Never mind, I'm not, I'm not gonna do story spoilers, actually. Poor Havoc. <laughs> oh my god, his head's gone. They, like, that glitch they need to fix. But man, I, I didn't think in like a million years that I would be able to have like a YouTube channel that actually posts like Mortal Kombat consistently. I'm glad that that's more so the fan base that I have on my channel. But if you guys, if any of you like something other than Mortal Kombat, let me know because I'd be more than willing to make videos about other things like I, I played minecraft for a while but i just didn't really have time to you know edit it out like in 100 days video but i play other games too uh i played call of duty for a little that stint uh, i didn't really enjoy the game just frustrated me it just wasn't fun like i grinded it for a little but it just wasn't a very fun game and like editing call of duty videos wasn't really my cup of tea either I'm more so, like, like I, I like making Mortal Kombat videos, I think they're more entertaining, they're more fun. Like, I don't know, maybe I'm just delusional. And smoke's done. Smoke's done, alright, round one. Speaking of smoke, uh, if you haven't seen, I, I, have, I have this game modded, so I played as Cyber Smoke for a little. So, if you guys want to see that, it's right on my channel. But also, I'm going to make a video on uh, top skins I think Netherrealm should add to this game. I mean, at least make available to the player base because uh, they're already in the game. They, they practically work already. They're just certain features missing from them. Oh, there, there, there the head goes. But, like, Cyber Smoke, the female ninjas, like, all of them are playable already. But, they don't unlock it. And I, I really... Dude, people would pay. Netherrealm, people would pay to play as Cyber Smoke. People would hands down pay for that. I would. Well, not, not with the mod I have installed, but... 
I would, if it was like an actual skin that I could use online and just play as casually. Like, we don't need the extra spear move that he has. Like, uh, just... Give us Cyber Smoke, baby. Come on. Oh, 40% combo right there. Oh, no. Yep, you missed. Sorry, Reptile. There we go. Also, I may... I, I have ranked gameplay that I could post. But I really... I don't know. I, I don't want to post it. Because <laughs> it's my first time playing ranked. I'm, I didn't play that well. And I don't know. I'm kind of like... I need my videos to be like... Not perfect, but just... I, me thinking they'd be like amusing, I, I guess you could say. I just, I want my video to be entertaining and I don't think ranked gameplay is the most fun to watch. It's very spammy, especially in the lower ranks, like mine. It just all chip damage. And your head's gone. But, yeah, that's, that's the gist of it. I'm going to record some more online. Uh, I want to play as other characters. Though. I want to learn how to play as General Xiao. I might make a video about him. How uh, I wish he was buffed. Because he's just slow. And there's he doesn't have a lot of mix-ups. He's one of those characters that really needs a cameo. To make him work well. Oh, I thought I would have been able to do that. No oh, thanks, Matara. <laughs> Somehow that hit her. Wow. I'm mean, gonna hit her with it again. Yeah, that's a 30%. One bar, 30%. No bar, 30%. Scorpion's just good, man. He's just good. He's so fun to play as. I think he has some of the best combo potential. Baraka also, and Raiden, and Johnny Cage. Very crazy combos you get with them. Most of the characters in this game you can. Uh, there's a few people I think need uh, some sort of buff, like Sub-Zero. I feel like in the past two games, he's been just very weak, and he's such a cool character, especially with all the ice moves. Like, this man is a cryomancer. He conjures ice. He should be a little more powerful than what he is right now. There we go. No, that wasn't quite 40%. Oh, I missed. And I just use Serena's uh, little daggers as a mix-up. Please don't let that hit me. Oh, come on. Demonetization. Oh. You can probably tell the game still has like stuttering problems sometimes. Uh, that's, that's something I think is always going to be an issue on PC. I don't, like, I'm just trying random stuff with him now. It's crazy how Liu Kang's donezo, though. And then, we've got two more fights. Now, it's funny, in this game, you also verse Shang Tsung as the final boss, but it's not quite like Mortal Kombat 1, it's more like Deadly Alliance, because you also verse Quan Chi as uh, the cameo fighter. 
But first we got a mirror match, which is like Mortal Kombat 1. You always go through a mirror match on the original tower at least. Round but one, yeah, I'm versing myself. I know, looks cool. There we go, and then we should do this, and he's done. Yep. Nearly flawless victory myself. I try to juggle him. Ow. Ow. Watch this, Buster. There we go. Something cool to think about. And your head's gone. Alright, now we are on to the final battle of this video. And, uh... Comparing times, this definitely took a lot longer than Mortal Kombat 1. But that's okay because, you know, I had fun playing. And this this fight's pretty cool. I really like uh I really like the Shang Tsung outfit. I don't know if that's even a playable skin yet. It probably is. Alright, watch this. There we go. Prepare yourself. Yeah, prepare yourself, buddy. Fight. Prepare yourself for Scorpion's Revenge. Oh, name drop the... I could I could have gotten a longer combo there. I'm not sure why I tried whatever I just did. And that Quan Chi does look uh, idiotic. I will I will say, <laughs> that one just looks kind of kind of funny looking. There you go. He's done. But yeah, that was that was the video, guys. Uh, there's gonna be a more in-depth comparison on on the two games, comparing them, and it'll be an actual more Combat One version. I just personally prefer to play the Mugen version. But yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed. Uh, my channel is mostly just a place for you to just sit back, relax, enjoy some content. So yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.